Well, thanks so much for staying with us on Colorado and Company. I'm Jackie Polisi in for Denise Plant. Now to a breed of dog that's described as sweet, calm and cuddly, and that's the Japanese chin. Here with more are Tina Jordan and Kate Whiteside, who bring two adorable cuties, Gidget and Sue. I'm I'm with four beauties right now. These <laughs> the, all four of you girls are beautiful. So Tina, I'll start with you. Share more about these two Japanese chin dogs. These are actually up for adoption, aren't they? Yes. Um, Gidget is a nine-year-old spay female. She came to us, um, she was actually rescued from a puppy mill and oh. transferred from National Mill Dog Rescue to our group. She is current on all vaccinations, house trained, spayed, neutered, good on a leash, um, great little dog okay. and no health issues. Okay. Sue is a seven-year-old oh. sable and white Japanese chin. Um, Sue also house trained, good on a leash, um, does really well with other small dogs. Sue does have dry eyes, so she requires okay. daily eye drops. Okay, all right, now what makes this breed of dogs so unique? First of all, they are very calm, very low energy, very quiet breed. Um, they do very well in a calm, low energy house. If you're looking for a dog to jog with, this is not the breed. Um, yeah. They require, um, they're a shedding breed, so they just require brushing a couple of times a week. Um, they don't require any grooming. They're pretty easy to have around and they're very quiet. Okay. And, and you were saying Gidget's a little bit full figured lady. Yes. <laughs> um, but what is the size and lifespan typically? We see, we see average um, size anywhere from four pounds as an adult to 20 pounds as an adult, um, depending upon genetics and breeding. Um, their life expectancy is average 12 to 14 years. We've seen them live as long as 19 years and some not as long yeah. as that. Yeah, now I know you said they're not great for jogging, but what about around children? What's, what, what are they like with children? Um, so it depends on the dog and their history. Okay. So we, you know, each dog is fostered in individual foster homes, so we expose them to lots of different things so we can find the best fit for them as far as a family goes. Some do really well with children, some not so much. Okay, Kate, what do you love most about this breed of dog? Well, they're cute. Yes, they And are. I don't mean just their looks. They have cute personalities. They do cute things. They're and they're easy, yeah. amazingly easy dogs. Yeah, they seem. They're so calm. Yeah. So you know, a lot of people think small dog, yappy dog. Mm -hmm. They haven't made a peep since they've been here. Is that's not true with this particular breed? No, they're they're very quiet. Occasionally, they'll hear something, but they don't yap. Yeah, yeah, and you have a lot of experience helping to, to nurture these dogs as well, don't you? And get them ready for a new home. Tell us about that. Well, that's always different. I've had I've had great ones. I there's only I have never had a problem with any of them, and I've had a I bet I've had twelve, okay. maybe fifteen. My goodness, different ones. Okay, uh, puppies, um, and they uh, they really are. I have not had any problems with them. I'll bet they're, they're adorable as puppies, right? Oh, oh they gosh. are. Now, how are they, they in are a, an apartment or in a condo? Just great. Perfect, okay. They're great. Because I, I, have, I actually have two of my own, and they're, uh, I can't tell you how easy they are. Okay. They're just easy, easy dogs. An easy breed. And you get yes. them out to exercise how often? Uh, usually two, three times a day, but I live in a, a condominium, so, um, I leash them up and take them out mm -hmm. three, four times a day. Sure, sure, okay. Yeah. Tina, how do you find the dogs that need rescuing? Um, we have a website that has a place for an owner surrender, so we advertise that we're out there. Um, we get them from owners who can no longer care for their dogs. We get them from shelters. If a Japanese chin shows up in a shelter, we work with the shelters. We work at the other rescue groups. Um, so they come from puppy mill seizures or hoarding situations. Mm -hmm. We get them from a lot of different places. So before adopting a breed like this, what are some things to consider? Um, shedding, you know, if you have allergies, that kind of thing. Um, you want to, you really want to fit your breed of dog to your family lifestyle. So if you have a really active family lifestyle, you probably want a dog that's a little more active sure. than this. Um, these are great dogs for seniors um, who still want to get out and walk, 
Um, so you want to look at your lifestyle versus the breed. Absolutely. Thank you both so much for joining us. All four ladies are beautiful. Well, if you're interested in adopting Gidget or Sue, please call 720-288-8436. You can also visit cjcrescue.com. Remember, this breed of dog isn't up for hiking or jogging. The Japanese chin enjoy short walks and lots of cuddling.